Alright, sorry I'm making this video on my cell phone, but, uh, got off work, and fucking pissed. Alright, Rolando fucking McClain suspended for 10 games, again, suspended again. And I can already tell what, I can already tell you what Jason Garrett's gonna say, he's gonna go, Well, how we doing, guys? Well, you know, we're just gonna handle Rolando on a day-to-day -day basis and see where it goes. You know what he should be fucking saying? Should be suck. He should be saying, "We're cut his ass," and the next time somebody fails a drug test, we're gonna cut their asses so we could set an example for Randy Gregory, cause his dumb ass is gonna end up in the same boat. All right? I'm so sick of this shit. You guys completely ignored the defense in the off season, in the draft. All right. Uh, what's his name? Smith? Rams? Jalen? Jalen? Uh, yeah, you, yeah, you guys got a second round draft pick who can't even play this year. It's totally ridiculous. Yeah, great. Ezekiel Elliott's gonna be a great player. He's gonna be awesome. Who cares? It won't matter. If the defense can't get the freaking offenses off the field, it's not gonna matter. We got no middle linebacker. We got, oh, we got Sean Lee. Oh, you know what's gonna happen? Sean Lee gets put back in middle linebacker. He's gonna get hurt. He'll be out for half the season. And then, you know, it, it's not going to matter that the offense, if the offense is solid or not, when the when the offense has to carry the entire game, it's not possible for them to win. And last year, special teams weren't that good because we got but got rid of some of our good special teams free agents before last season. And we got rid of some now too. This is ridiculous. I mean, I, I thought Will McClay and the uh, personnel staff had this shit figured out, but apparently they didn't. They don't. They don't have a fucking clue what they're doing. All right, you, uh, what are you gonna put? You're gonna put your hope in fucking Rolando McClain, the dude that has a history of fucking up in the NFL and clearly doesn't want to be there because he's gonna lose a million dollars plus all kinds of bonuses. He doesn't want to be there. Fucking cut him, and he can go hang out with fucking Johnny Manziel in Mexico. It's where he belongs. He doesn't belong in the NFL. He doesn't want to fucking be there. He doesn't belong there. Stop fucking bringing players on like this. It's fucking ridiculous. Ugh. I'm so sick of this shit. Jason Garrett acts like such a pussy. They don't They do not do anything about it. It's like, oh, well, I think we handled our defensive problems well in the offseason. We did everything we can. No, you didn't do shit. You didn't do shit. And this next season, it's going to be like 2013. You're going to be hiring dudes off the street. You're going to be hiring random dudes off the street. You might as well sign me and put me out on there on the practice squad. Because it'll be just as effective, effective as any of the other dudes you're going to be hiring off the street that haven't been in the NFL for a year, two years, three years. Who knows? Let's get the... Well, who knows? Let, let's let's just... I don't know. So I tried... Who, who knows who we're going to get? There's nobody out there to get. You know why? Because you fucking arrogant assholes in the front office of the Dallas Cowboys, for some reason, you think you know everything and like you you always have the high ground in the in when it comes to this you, you have some kind of intellectual superiority complex when it comes to football and the defense in the last 10 years has been pathetically obvious that you don't and whoever the people that have been making all the personnel decisions have not done a good idea the damn good thing on defense our, de our defense has been a disaster so many seasons the past 10 years it's unbelievable 2013 Oh my god, worst defense ever. Last year, what'd we get? How many interceptions? Eight. How many sacks? 31. 31 sacks, eight interceptions? Are you kidding? And I know, yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, Orlando Skandrick was out last year. Yeah, he's the best cornerback on the team. Well, he's not a great cornerback. He's a slightly above average cornerback compared to the other good cornerbacks in the NFL. But that's all we got. I mean, all this defense has now, right? as of right now, they have a, one healthy solid player that we know for sure will be a solid contributor for day one. And that's Sean Lee. We don't, there's nothing, there's nobody else on that defense right now. Especially in the front seven that, that could, that's proven that they could be solid, uh, dependable player. All the time. Nobody has. Sean Lee, that's it. Put Sean Lee back in middle linebacker. Give him six games. He'll be hurt. 
got to have him a weak side. He can't be can't be middle linebacker. This is fucking bullshit, man. And the rest of Cowboys Nation should be pissed off, should be pissed off at all the coaches and management for letting this shit get out of control. What the hell's going on in the locker room? What are the other fucking players doing? Are they just like, oh yeah, go ahead, go go hang out at your house, roll, go roll and clean, go smoke a bunch of tons of weed. It's cool, man. You know, it's not like we know when these schedule, these drug tests are scheduled or anything. Oh, but wait, they fucking do know when those drug tests are scheduled. There's, I bet 75% of the players in the NFL smoke weed all the time. But guess what? They're not so fucking stupid and lackadaisical and lazy about their jobs that they just do it right before they have a fucking drug test. Fire his ass. Set an example for the rest of the team, for Randy Gregory, before his sorry ass ends up in the same boat. Because you know what? There's a ton of people out there that would want to play. There's a bunch of people that would love to be playing professional football and aren't and can't. And you got sorry assholes like this dude fucking up the chemistry of the team, pissing off the fans that were already pissed off because the defense has been neglected in the offseason. And the, the just, like, ineffectual management. I mean, yeah, the offense would be great. But who cares if they if the defense can't get off the field, if they're getting the points run up on them, like 2013, like when the Packers caught up with a fucking second-string quarterback, with a, the Cowboys were up 28-7 to in the second half, and the, they just let them catch right back up. That's my prediction for the season. We got a whole bunch of fucking games where we're going to be ahead in the second half, starting the second half, and then they're going to catch right back up because the defense is fucked. Fuck you, Jerry Jones. Fuck you, Jason Garrett. I'm never defending you guys again. I'm out.